Well, my mother went to the papers first in around 1920, and we have been at the paper business in the Coliseum area ever since. My mother, my uncle who was in America, my other uncle who was in England, and myself, we have kept up the name in the paper trade at that particular area for approximately 50 years. And we look like going and doing it for another <laughs> 50 if possible. I have four children. Uh, I hope to better give them a better chance in life than I got myself. But if it was necessary to have them sell newspapers, I would have no regrets. I, it's an honest and good living. When I started selling newspapers at the Coliseum after the last World War, traffic was very light and I had just stood at the Coliseum, near the Coliseum cinema and saw it mostly to pedestrians or people on bicycles. But as the years went on and traffic began to get very heavy, it was necessary for the corporation to bring in a one-way traffic system. And as a result of it, all traffic has to come to the Coliseum corner to enter the city. And in so doing, it built up my trade as the years went on. But it was necessary for me to get out on the island in the centre of the road and service the cows as they pass by. And to do so, I just had to be on my toes and keep things moving as best I could. People who pass by in cows, uh, the majority of them pay me on a weekly system more pay me at a month in advance or at the end of the month. A lot of people pay nightly, but uh, I find myself that when I keep count of things at the end of the week, that I find I'm never out. If anything, I have a few bob more than what I should have. Uh, when decimalization comes, it will create a problem, I suppose, and, but everything just seems to set its own, pa its own pattern as time goes on. And I'm sure that it will be just a matter of form after a few weeks. Normally when I go to the Coliseum at night, I usually drop my coat and keep running up and down my pullover on this summer, it's my shirt. But when the rain comes, it's necessary to have me put on a coat, which I find a terrible drawback, because you're inclined to sweat a terrible lot, and with the coat, makes it a lot harder. I know it's only a very ordinary job, but uh, I meet a terrible lot of nice people, and I'm quite happy in my work. It's not dangerous, for the simple reason that I give it 100% concentration to every person in a car passing by, and in doing so, I find that it's anything but dangerous. I've had no accidents since I went to the Coliseum, neither myself or any other vehicle, any vehicle involved or anything. I have been so far 100% lucky. I, I don't drink or smoke, I think that has a big say in it, but I, I keep fairly regular hours. I don't live any sort of high life or anything like that, and uh, other than that I don't do anything special, no special training no pep pills or anything like that and I just think that nature made me that way and that's that.